when I talk to people at a lot of companies about how they're deploying AI, a lot of them actually don't like their junior engineers using it. So, you know, a lot of them say my senior engineers are so much, you know, are really getting a ton of value from it. They're way more productive. It's great. And I would take it away from my junior engineers if I could, because in fact, like it's just they, they, they flail too often and they don't quite have the judgment built up yet to know when they're proposing a change that has a lot of subtle, you know, issues around it. And therefore, you know, they, they, they actually like aren't on the right path. Um, so I do think it's a very interesting question. I think particularly in bigger and more established companies, how much do you want your junior engineers kind of vibing their way through it um, versus, you know, making sure they are actually learning and spending time really, you know, getting comfort and familiarity, maybe not with the oldest old school way of writing code, right? We don't need to push, push them back into VI, but like, you know, with with minimal assistance um, versus how much do you want to say, you know what, I can have more junior people and they can just, you know, vibe it really fast and it's not a big deal. Um, we'll have a few senior people to clean it up. But I, I think that's like a big risk and a big question that leaders are going to need to really kind of regularly evaluate is, you know, is this actually speeding up? up my teams sort of evenly or is it more advantageous to a certain type of role and how do I you know help the other types of roles take better advantage of it or you know maybe you know reduce usage and reduce dependency for people in those roles so that they can learn those necessary skills going forward.